All right, guys, who is excited? How awesome is all of this adding up? I'm so, so, so excited that Nirian put out some extra promotions, that the leadership, three stars and above, put out extra promotions for us all to run with our team. It is so lucky. We are so lucky to be a part of this team because the energy that we have during these promotions and all the work that our leadership puts on for us, it is amazing. Like, it is so incredible just for, you know, me to listen to Sam put on this, you know, she's researching this retreat and all of this for people to rank up and get there. I mean, it's just amazing. So what I want to do tonight is I want to briefly recap um, for those of you guys that were on the NMD call, you already heard it. For those of you guys who are on the Team Next Level call, you've already heard it. I know I'm in the same boat with you, um, but we're going to give a brief lowdown because we do have people that are international and did not get on and could not get on. So we're going to, and then people that are working today and everything like that. So first things first, on the NMD call, it was amazing today. And I am going to give some training that um, on a camp gave, which was phenomenal. I'm so glad that they're kind of repositioning that back to other leaders that we can hear from in the field and hear what they are exactly doing, which is awesome. So first things for first, the promotions that Miriam they're putting on is gearing around the HIQ. Um, that leads me to believe, and I still haven't even heard the breakdown on what's happening with the AD yet, but it does lead, leave me to believe that we are probably going to be pushing that kind of out. It's Internationally, um, you know, it's easier to go worldwide and company-wide with this product, HIQ. Let's be honest, it is better. Um, and we have other stuff going on with Miriam Biotech um, that we have lawsuit and stuff. So I don't know if you guys know all the details of that. I honestly don't even know all the details. But let's just say that um, they are probably moving in the direction of HIQ, and that's why these promotions are going on. So the travel size night and day cream are actually going to be shipped to your Nerium AD customers in September. Okay, that is complimentary from Nerium. So they're gonna try to like ease us and ease our customers into loving the IQ. So they're using those little travel things. Um, hold on, I have a little bit of background noise here. Um, so they're using the travel containers that we got in our um, packs that you guys bought them at conference and stuff. They're actually sending those to the uh, brand partners that got ADOs in September for AB. Now, how you find that out is go into your report center. It is, I'm already getting questions. They don't, people can't find it. It is, is under your report center. So you can go in there and look and see what customers, like for example, um, you might even get questions out there like, well, I do have customers, but they're not on that list. Well, did they ship by monthly and maybe their shipment is in October and it didn't run in September. That actually is happening with me. So unfortunately that just doesn't count. Um, so only the customers that are in there that build in September count for those travel packets. Then also, if we get any AD customers to transfer over to IQ, then they get free Aluma Boost. That's huge. Okay, so um, even more than the travel free, you know, packets, that's awesome. But I'm just going to literally call my two people that are on my list and I'm going to say, um, we're moving to IQ. <laughs> no, no, I think I really am. Um, so I'm just going to call my people and just be like, Hey, have you heard of the IQ? Um, you know, it's an amazing product. We're doing an upscale. It's giving better results and our company is leaning towards that. And so, um, you know, this is the direction we're going to go. These two people that I have particularly, I'm good friends with, but um, you can do it any way you want. That's just an idea. You can just get, pick up the phone and tell them that you're going to IQ. And then um, you do get the, they get the free limit boost. So that's a bonus for them. And you get a hundred extra trip volume points for that as well. So that's huge. All of that is awesome. Super excited that they're driving that for us and helping us out with it um, and giving us extra big um, points and stuff. So on a camp, she did an amazing training, and I think it's really valuable to kind of tell it to you guys in regards to our how to open in the month out. Um, it was really, really, really what I needed. So she talked at the beginning about how she always starts her mornings off 
just, um, I, you know, I don't know if she said 30 minutes to an hour, but for me as a busy mama, I've been actually practicing this for two weeks now. I used to do it, but I really, really wanted to hone in on it and do it again. Um, but it's waking up before your home wakes up. And so for me, that is waking up at 6 a.m. My kids wake up around 6, 45, 7. So yes, I want to sleep in. But the way that I feel after I wake up without my children and just having that that clarity for my day, it's worth it to me. It is so worth it. And so I don't know if that might be a challenge or something that you've wanted to try, but I'm telling you, it is awesome to do. You put your affirmations out there to the universe. You put your visual visualization out there about what you want your day, your week, your month to look like, your year to look like. Those things really, really matter. And you guys know your leaders, you understand how you guys got here. It is all in your head. And I cannot voice that em enough. If you think you can do it, you will do it. If you have any doubt, you won't be able to do it. It's in your head first. And so this practice, and this is kind of what Anna Camp uh, reminded us about, but this practice in the morning especially, it does gear you so you don't let your day ru rule you. You rule your day. So that was really a good reminder. Um, she looks at herself, obviously, and how the month went last month. So on the first of the month, she looks at last month, okay, was her actions meeting up with the goals that she had placed? And I loved how, you know, she put that. I don't know about you guys, but I have to track everything I do. So I looked at my tracker and I was like, you know what, I really could have done more exposures, you know, and all of those things, just looking at yourself, looking at how last month went, look at your team. She looks at the volume that she ended up at. She looks at the FSQs, uh, or not FSQs, the, um, yeah, the fast start qualifiers, the new starts, um, you know, and then she looks at her goals for the next month to come, okay? So she puts a vol she puts volume um, for her GQV and her PQV. What does she want her PQV to be for her upcoming goals? Um, and I love that. That was always a refresher that Jen Elston kind of put out there a couple months ago. You know, having that goal of just what your PQV is, what your goal of how many new PCs you want, how many existing PCs do you want, um, how many brand partners. I always try for three to five new preferred customers and one to three brand partners every single month. And that has literally been my goal um, from the moment I started. And maybe I need to change that, but maybe not. It's just a perfect goal that I think is attainable. And I think you can totally do it. So you look at your goals and what you want. Um, you look at the rank that you possibly want, or even look and start digging into your legs. Okay. So she goes into leg one, leg two, leg three. And she says, who's working? She identifies the rank advancements and who was close last month. And she literally writes out in each of these legs who is working. And she calls through them. And she talks about their wins for September. So you don't go right into, okay, October. you know. And that's what I tend to do on my game plans. I'm like, okay, what are we going to do for October? But she really does look back and say, okay, what, did, what were her those people's wins? What did they really think they did a good job at? and actually congratulating and recognizing the September wins and then going for their goals in October, make sure that they also have a list made, um, their class A prospects, um, how many they have, how many RRPs they have, and this is now especially big because of this month, and then how many PCs they want new or current. So those were some really, really, really good refreshers for me to really listen to from another leader. Um, I feel like I, it's been a while since I really listened to leadership training on how to really get that next month going strong. So those were some great nuggets that I took. I loved, loved, loved her equation that she uses on herself and her team, okay? And she called it an equation. So she, for example, her equation is the September results plus the goals for October equals X. For example, your September results you ended in, this is an example, $8,500 in volume, okay? You look at it and look with your, um, you know, look with your brand partner who is at this $8,500. So they need $4,000 in volume plus some brand partners to get there, to get to that X, that Lexus, okay? You look at that 4,000 and you talk to that brand partner, what are they willing to do 
to get there themselves on personal volume. Okay. You say, okay, you need 4,000. You need a couple of brand partners. Okay. Um, looking into your legs, it looks like you need your two of your brand partners need one brand partner or two of your brand partners need two brand partners. Okay. That's going to bring in and you do the math with them. Okay. That's going to bring in $2,000. Can you bring in a thousand dollars? And you put them in that equation as well. And you put them into that accountability of what they're going to actually do themselves and not, you know, so many times, um, and this is really what, why it related to me is because so many people at director level, they get so frustrated because they think it's all about their team of what, oh my gosh, I just wish my team could do this. I wish my team could do it. And it's like, what are you willing to do? What can you put out there this month? that will get you to senior brand or senior director, you know? And so that's kind of the equation that she uses with her game planning. And I totally loved it. Um, and I wanted to bring it to you guys. A um, couple more things. And then Kim's going to talk about what we just heard on team next level call. But um, the promotions that we also, there's more promotions that Niren gave us. So they are extending out those nine PCs, the power PC bonus, bonus, the power, um, pack bonus, which is the added income for brand partners. And those brand partners, that income, it is, you know, $50 extra for a $500 brand partner, $75 extra for a 750 brand partner, and um, $100 extra for a $1,000 brand partner. That's all extended. I will just tell you from hearsay, I don't know if that's forever extended. I don't know. Um, you know, sometimes I've heard it's like played into the commission's um, increase. And that's why we're, you know, the, the compensation plan that this is going to be kind of something that's in, I don't know. Um, and then the power five pack bonus with the brand partners that's still extended. Um, so those uh, packs that we have, those NGB points, those for samples and stuff, that's still going to be included in it as well. So you have to remember when we're, trying to sh get brand partners in this business that that is an added bonus. They get, um, is it 90 NGB points for enrolling, which NGB is going to equal sample packets. So those are going to be samples for free that are included in these packets. That's just a selling point that I need to remind myself as well as you guys. And then um, the big one is we are going to be getting double trip volume, which I am super actually surprised that they're doing double trip volume because I heard from Shallon when she went to um, the trip, Green Cayman, 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 that Bo never wants to do double trip volume because it really doesn't benefit the company, I guess. And it's, in a sense, it's just kind of giving everybody some free, free um, money or whatever. So they are doing it. So I don't know what happened. Maybe someone was like, Bo, whatever, <laughs> we're doing it, but they're doing it. So it's double trip volume for two brand partners that you bring in at $500 or more, you're going to get that double trip volume. So it's not going to count for one, but once you get that second one, then it'll count for both of them. Does that make sense? So that is what we definitely need to drive is you get the double trip volume. You're going to make more money too. You have to remember, I mean, those power pack bonuses are more money for the brand partner as well. So really that is two added bonuses that people are getting when they enroll brand partners. So huge, huge, huge. I'm hoping that we have high, high uh, new, new starts this month. I mean, those two alone are going to be huge. And then the HIQ, we can convert over and get more trip volume. So they are really helping us this month with trip volume. So it's, it's all good. Um, Kim is going to talk about what we're doing with Jen Givens all the way down to us. We're, we're doing this whole thing really on, um, really the, the action that's going to get us all here. So Kim, take it away. Thank you. Um, I'm excited about this because, and you guys as leaders should be too, because everybody's always wanting to know, you know, how am I going to rank advance? This is the freaking answer. So every time people are asking, well, I just, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong or why can't I do whatever. This is the how to, this is the, these are the activities that they're giving us at this party to promote um, for people to hit these promotions 
from Nerium, add trip volume, hit your rank advancements. I absolutely love it. Um, if you miss the, the team call that they just did tonight, that normally is on Sunday, that they moved tonight, tonight listen to it. It was great. Um, it ended with action steps. We want everyone on our team to listen to it. But here's the details if you missed it. It's um, like Patia said, from Jennifer Gibbons and down, which is good because the more people that are all saying and doing the same thing, the more excitement um, just surrounds it. And people will want to go where the fire's at. And Party to Promote is going to be what's making these things happen. So it runs for anyone in Jennifer Givens' organization, which includes all of us. It starts October 1st today and runs through December 31st. So um, they want us to obviously use these Party to Promote sheets. If you haven't seen them, um, it tells you, you know, how many parties do you need to have in a, in a month? Um, to hit whatever rank you want. So if you are running, if you have a person on your team that's running for senior brand partner, um, then obviously those parties are gonna be there hosting them between your house and their contacts. Um, if you have someone running for director, senior director, ED, higher ranks, it's collectively parties within their organization. When um, we all started in 2014, we weren't talking really about party to promote sheets, but we were partying to promote. And that's why you move, put all this activity in a short amount of time. And um, that's how you get your rank advancements. If you have three parties in one month versus three parties spread out over three months, that's the difference in ranking up. So pushing them all into a short amount of time and that's how it happens. So these, um, you know, three star and above, Colleen, Sam, Givens, Elston, Shallon, all sitting around talking about how can we help our team get to where they want to be? And this is what they came up with, bringing this back out there and putting a spotlight on it. So starting now, any home party, um, you have, you hashtag party to promote, take a picture, post it in your team page and hashtag party, then the number two promote, uh, post that in your team page, take the same picture taken from your party, you and your guests, and email it in to party, the number two promote at gmail.com. That email with the picture, um, include your name and brand partner ID is going to be your entry and your date of your party. You need to send it in each week. So 10, one through 10, seven would be week one. So you email it in and that is your entry to be, um, entered to win. They're going to do draw five winners each week for some type of gift. Um, from the NMDs are just going to put them, put gifts in. I don't know if it'll be product gift card or some kind of swag. Um, so you could enter to win that as well as every, um, each of the five people that are drawn, um, each week as winners will get to, um, have be invited to a, um, leadership zoom with the people I mentioned, Shallon, Elston, Givens, Sam, Colleen. Um, so they'll, have three separate zooms and you'll get to be on that if you're one of the five people so if you have two home parties in one week um, and you email those in then you get two entries for that particular week and you and if your name is drawn you'll get included on the leader zoom and by doing all of that obviously you're going to be increasing your pqv your sales your new starts things like that trip volume all is tied in together so um the um qualifications for what kind of what counts as a party for this team promotion that they're running is a home RRP um, or an individual zoom party a lot of people do a zoom party for like let's say you launch a new brand partner and their um, friends and relatives are all out of state so you're having like a launch party for them or an RRP for them via zoom it's an individual not like when Pasha <clears throat> excuse me does like a Facebook um, live for the whole team. That's not going to count. So you can screenshot that. Those are the only two types for this um, promotion. And then the second kind of part of um, the the team promotion that they're doing, and I think this is awesome because you are going to see people in Givens organization and down um, popping to ED, RMD, NMD. Those who you utilize these party to promote sheets will be popping to those ranks. So people who are hitting these uh, ranks ED and above for the very first time um, in this promotion period, October 1 through December 31st, will be um, invited and be going to a retreat 
um, in Charlotte, North Carolina, Lake Norman specifically for, um, it's going to be fun. Like, obviously you're going to be hanging out with, um, the top three star and above yoga, massages, ridiculousness, I'm sure alcohol. And then, um, they are actually going to take you and help you on a whiteboard, map out your whole organization, um, and coach you on that individually. So it's going to be incredible. So, um, if you utilize the party to promote and you're going for ED, RMD, NMD and above, everyone on this should, on this zoom should be going for that. If you are sending me a message, girl, just interrupt me. I don't even know what that says. Um, so I think that's it. I think that's it, Paige. Louise, what are you talking about? Sorry, I'm writing. <laughs> I'm writing back and forth. We were thinking the exact same thing, Lou and I were. Um, okay, so I love this so much because it is complete action for our team that's going to make this stuff happen. It's going to make the brand partners pop. It's going to make us all get trip volume, and it's going to help us get the retreat. I mean, it is insane that they kind of all, it all kind of meshed together and we have major promotions and we have major activities. So it is going to be awesome. So drive this down to your teams. There were so many ways that we could have heard this. Um, like I said, I even forgot earlier when I even missed it and heard it all on New Year's University. So literally there are so many ways that people can hear this information, but driving this and printing out this sheet yourself, printing it out, and mapping out your team of how, what rank you wanna be at and where you're gonna get it and map out the, the parties that will happen to make it happen. So um, with that, I think that's it. Does anybody have any questions or any thoughts or anything that you guys wanna chat about in regards to all this? There's the action obviously is like, let's just map out these parties with our team and let's all party to promote because we do have amazing things coming up with the holiday sets. It's gonna, it's gonna ripple from here, and this is just the, the first step, and then it's gonna to continue to ripple with other promotions and with other new products coming out. So just take it for what it is and do one month at a time and just keep going. Does anybody have anything? Desi, are you on here? I wanna say Desi actually used the party to promote sheets to hit an MD. Like I feel I like on here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I did. I don't. I'm not going to show you my face to look like hell. <laughs> um, yeah. Although the two months leading up to me, I said at RMD for gosh, I think 11 months, frustrated and you know not doing anything different. Then finally, months uh, 10 and 11, I decided to go back to the party promote sheets, which we had done about I don't know five or six months before that, and. Um, pumped the team up and we did it and that's how I hit NMD. That's amazing. Love it. Believe in them. So um, also you guys, since we are all leaders on here, so if you are trying to motivate your team to do these things and bring on brand partners and have these launch parties, because it's an easy way to book a party is to bring on a new brand partner. Um, if you are, you know, looking at offering products to give out as incentives, you know, right now you get the double bonus on bringing on a new brand partner. So selling a brand partner kit. So it's just kind of like creatively thinking about who can I get to purchase a brand partner kit, start them off. If the money's the issue, you know, you're getting an extra bonus on enrolling a 500. I don't want anyone to get confused about it, but if you can bring on brand partners, load up your inventory, turn around and offer it back to your mm -hmm. team for hosting these parties. It's just like you're, is anybody following me? Can anybody put that into words better than me? Oh yeah. We're just moving money. You're just taking, you know, you're taking, it's kind of like, we're, we're running a business. You have to be, you have to be creative. You have to be entrepreneurial. You have to say, okay, if I'm getting these kits and I'm bringing in all this, in this product, I'm going to take this now and turn around and I'm going to do hostess gifts. Sometimes like at the beginning and not everybody's going to want to do this for example, but I know, especially when Kim and I started, we were like, let's go. And we put a little bit more money into the business and we popped those products out to people more like join you get an extra firm 
you know, whatever the case may be. And I know a lot of you guys do that too, but like, um, you know, just kind of moving the money to, to kind of just inflate your business even more. That makes sense. Um, kind of just taking it to the next level. Cause I mean, sometimes I, I view it as like to run a business and to make it go to the next level with any business that you own. I mean, literally we have a business that we're owning I and mean, it could be a retail coffee shop down the road, whatever you have to put money into it. You know, it has to keep going in, in a sense. So like that to me sometimes is okay. Everybody's in a different situation. I get that. But like, that's the kind of my thought is put a little bit to get a lot out. And now with all these promotions, it's like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to be throwing, and you guys do this too, throwing out, you know, money off kits and stuff to get this stuff, to get these brand partners. Cause I know I'm going to get more in the end, you know, but, um, one thing that I thought of instantly is I'm going to print out the party to promote sheet to go to NMD. I'm going to look at my week leg and I'm going to look at the new starts and every single new start I'm going to call and they should, they should have two parties on the books. Okay. I'm going to literally put out a calendar and I'm going to mark these, these calendar, these, these parties that people are going to have. And then even Shallon was giving us great ideas and Sarah, that team next level call, it is recorded. So I'll post that in, um, masters when, when it comes up. Um, and I am going to post the details in writing also on masters, just a, just a heads up, but you know, being creative with hostess incentives, which I know you guys have seen out there, you know, reaching out to people and getting your team just, I mean, when I first started, I was like, mom, you're having a party for me. My mom wasn't even in the business yet. And I was like, you're doing this, you know, like, but <laughs> kind of talking people into just asking people to have parties for them. And you have this new promotion, especially the people that you love, know, and trust so well, like where I could call my mom and be like, mom, you're, I need to, you need to have a party for me. You know, like that's what we need to kind of just like ripple down to our teams is like, you know, hostess incentives, obviously, and just kind of asking people if they'll have parties and what are other ideas? I'm, I'm going mind blank on what other ideas Charlene just said at the end for parties. I wrote them down. Hang on. The mimosas. I always do mommy mimosas. That's huge for my, um, my age group and what, you know, my friends and I are doing. Um, afternoon lunch is huge. Said, having like, um, a lunch hour party, like by a restaurant, by like someone's work, you know, they can invite their coworkers in and out, like people in, in like working, like business jobs literally do go out to lunch for an hour and it's a good in and out party. Um, I trained at the regional and in Indy about if you ask someone, will you have a party for me? They're like, no, but if you ask them, Hey, I have a goal. I need to have like 10 home parties, you know, before Thanksgiving, will you be one of them? then it's a little harder to say no because they already know you've got to have 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can't just be the one person and kind of talking about the kits and um, what I was talking about there. Like I have this one girl who's a total tight wad and she's dragging her feet on ordering product. Doesn't want to spend the money. Now she's kind of talking back and forth about wanting to do the business, but doesn't know whatever, whatever. So for me, I could be like easily verbiage wise, Hey, I just sold, you know, some products cash. Do you want to go ahead and buy that kit and I'll buy those products cash from you. It'll make your startup cheaper. Just to kind of, as an idea of verbiage of how to get someone in with a, with a kit that may not have, she might not take the plunge otherwise somehow I'm, cause I'm not giving her a bunch of products. She's going to be a tight wide no matter what. And there's no guarantee she'll ever do anything. But if I want to uh, unlock that double trip volume and Lord knows I do, then um, that's how I'm going to, you know, try to play that out to people. I'm excited. You guys should be excited. People are always wanting to rank up. Not everyone, but people are always wanting to rank up and they want to know how, how to do it. This is the answer. Party to promote sheets is black and white. Mm -hmm. Yep. We have the actions and we have the incentives. So it's definitely just driving it and getting it down to our teams because there's all kinds of different ways to find out this information, but you guys know that it somehow gets missed. It, it always somehow gets missed. So just keeping it going down to your teams would be awesome too. Cause it's like, ah, I don't know how to get all this. I'm, and hopefully maybe even Gibbons down emails everybody. I'm hoping like maybe she even emails and lets everybody know too. So there'll be lots of ways. Do you guys have any questions? No? Okay. 
Well, happy October. Leading into the Christmas season, this is a perfect, perfect time for recruitment. Um, Mark Smith in the day used to say October is always the best month of recruiting because it's really early before Christmas. You have enough time to build income before Christmas, and people are thinking in that direction. And so it is, and, and um, back to school is over. So everybody in October usually is on board for recruiting, recruiting. So it is huge. So good luck, guys. Let me know if you guys need anything. Bye. All right.